helpful for cleaning yards, but have long been a target for criticism. Leaf blowers have face bans in some cities due to environmental concerns. And one viewer asked us to take a closer look at a popular pollution claim. Liza Lucas verifies. Commercial leaf blowers certainly create noise pollution, but their uncontrolled emissions are worse. I heard that the hydrocarbons emitted in 30 minutes equals driving a pickup truck several thousand miles. Can this be true? Patricia's concern over gas powered leaf blowers is not new. Concerns stem from a 2011 report from auto research firm Edmonds. The group found a half hour of yard work with a two stroke leaf blower is about the same as driving a truck from Texas to Alaska. California officials say using the best selling commercial leaf blower for one hour emits a pollution comparable to driving a Camry from LA to Denver. For more, we turn to the EPA and Georgia Tech professor Michael Leamy. The EPA set more stringent emission standards for gas powered leaf blowers in 2000, requiring a 70% reduction in hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxide emissions, two common types of air pollutants. So a newer model leaf blower should emit less pollutants than one from 20 years ago. Professor Leamy helped us compare emissions of trucks and leaf blowers using a 2015 EPA analysis on lawn equipment. Keep in mind, most vehicles are four stroke engines and cleaner than a two stroke. If you look at the unburnt hydrocarbons, you find that this leaf blower in 30 minutes of operation is in fact emitting more unburnt hydrocarbons than driving, for example, an F-150 or any other light duty pickup truck from New York City to Los Angeles. But considering different types of emissions, Leamy found a different result. Carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, those are far, far, far greater in driving your pickup truck. So back to Patricia's question, it's kind of apples and oranges. Sources show a gas powered leaf blower can emit more hydrocarbons than driving cross country. But there are a lot of variables. The engine, the year, the type of pollutant can all come into play into which engine is worse. Do you have something for us to verify? Send us your ideas via Facebook, Twitter, or via email at verify at 11alive.com.